Welcome back to the channel for another video. If you're new here, my name is Jerry Nicomaisia, but all my friends call me G. And welcome back to the channel, girl, for another video. Y'all, I'm changing out my closet. And mm, usually I will show you guys the whole process. This time I did not. Y'all, I don't feel like doing this. I, this is day two of me doing this. Yesterday I took down all of my fall winter stuff. And now I'm pulling out the spring summer stuff. I'm over it now the fun thing about doing this is every time I switch over my closet I see things and I'm like oh my god I forgot I had that I'm so excited to wear that kind of like this last summer I couldn't fit this this is an AJ top I could not fit this top because it was a little snug on me but I'm sure I could fit it now because your girl is losing weight but I don't feel like doing this even like the whole mindset well I don't have to do that part how about this I'm not gonna stress myself out I'm talking out loud Maybe today we're going to do piece by piece. I don't have to finish this whole video today. So right now my only goal is to get all of these clothes. I'm also sitting on top of clothes. Get all of these clothes on a hanger. Once the clothes are on hangers, then we can sort them out and see how I want to color coordinate the wall. Right now I am in my pink bag. I feel like orange look really, really pretty on me. I've been buying a lot of red. This spring summer, I really want to live in color. Okay, literally. I want to just wear the wear the things like this dress. Look how beautiful this red is. So I think I want the wall to look very, very bright, vibrant. I'm talking about like a rainbow, but I wanted to co color coordinate. Like the reds will fade into the oranges, and then some the oranges will fade into fade into like pinks. That's why I have all of the pinks over here, but. As I'm talking to y'all, I'm happy I'm talking to y'all. Thanks, girlfriends, for listening to me. If you're new here, it's not always this chaotic. Just stick with me, girl. This is going to turn into a vibe. Right now, I'm just chaotic because it's been a morning. But since I don't have to finish this whole video today, I think that's why I just got overwhelmed. Because I'm like, okay, I need to finish this video today. And then I just got a call from the lady who alters my clothes. Thank God she texts me back. I'm going to go to her at 4.30. Now, the funny thing is this, y'all. She's going to be so annoyed with me. I have so, like this whole pile over here, she needs to alter all of this. And I have some in the living room. It's like at least two bags of clothes that I need her to alter. So, talking to y'all, I just realized I don't have to finish this today. So, I'm about to just take my time. Right now, my only goal is to get everything on hangers. Once I get everything on hangers, then we can move from there. But I'm just here to introduce the video and tell you guys that I am switching out my closet. And let's get into this montage. I'm going to give you guys, y'all know with these videos, I don't do too much talking. I'm going to give you like my thought process. But I'm going to give you an amazing playlist. And yeah, enjoy.
guys so i'm making a little progress i am taking a break i'm sitting back and looking i love the way the red fades into the orange hold on let me show y'all i absolutely love the way that red fades into the orange i feel like that is so pretty with that little hint of hot pink and i feel like that hot pink is a great transition into these colors but the more i sit here see how i just added this gray um kimono i think i'm gonna move that because i don't like the fact that it doesn't transition seamlessly so i'm gonna just put that in my main closet and also this aje dress i feel like it's not doing it for me so all right so this is not doing it for me and i also don't need this section to be too full because these uh pieces have a lot of volume so i feel like this is just adding too much volume and it's like a center piece i could see if it was like maybe on the outside let's see no it's it's just not going to be able to go on the wall i feel like it's not doing it for me so i'm actually taking the shorts to these if you watch my last what's new in my closet video i told y'all that i sized up y'all i got a size 14 in the shorts i'm going to return to 12 and i'm happy i did size up the 14 it gives me a little room i love the way they look i feel like they give more of a loose fit and it looks even more tailored so i'm about to actually take those and get them taking it in the waist but i had to add this girl to the wall all right y'all so i need to step away because i'm getting a little aggravated so i'm going to step away and then just come back when i feel motivated and the more i take a break walk away from it come back yeah we'll get some something else going so this is what i have right now it's currently three i need to i need to i need to walk away all right y'all so just a little update these are all of the boots that i want to keep and i'm going to put all of these in storage um up in here is all of my fall clothes whether it's pants skirts mm, jackets as you guys can see i put some jackets i usually will put these in garment bags but this year i'm going to try to see if i like them on hold on i actually want to zip this one up so it can keep its structure but i usually will put these in garment bags this year i'm not going to do that i'm going to see how i like them in here and yeah so in this so yes in here i have pa uh, pants leather shorts sweaters any long sleeve anything that's fall winter it is in here now a lot of people always ask me where do i get these from i get these containers from i think this is like let me see how many mm, usually tell me oh it's 70 gallons so it's a 70 gallon storage tote and i get this from home depot i actually want to go and pick up one more so i don't have to keep fighting with this one because right now i only have one once i pull all of my fall winter stuff out i just put the spring summer in here so i've been rotating this one um container for girl the past two years so i do want one more of these but this, it's a little pricey i think i pay like 50 dollars for it, 50 or 60 dollars for it but it is heavy duty and it is worth it i don't have any cracks or anything it does have wheels so it's easy to roll i got this one on sale because one of the wheels is broken but hopefully you guys can see this all of my clothes can literally fit in here and i had enough room to put like puffer jackets and all of the things so this is all of my fall winter clothes now right now i'm currently taking my boots off of the wall because i want to find storage for these boots so i found some storage bags for boots on amazon i'm going to buy those and see how i like those so right now i'm not ready to put these in storage so i'm going to keep all of them here for now i believe the amazon package should get here like this week to see if i like that because i don't want these boots to get ruined y'all know last year i had an issue with my boots getting ruined especially these i love these things to pieces and i want them to be stored properly so i can have them years and years to come so that's the update y'all and when it comes to these boots up here right now i think i'm gonna just i'm thinking about leaving them up there until the boot storage come because i don't want all of these boots in my living room so right now i'm not gonna pull these boots down until i find the proper storage for them wait we never really talked about my wig shelf um this is a wig shelf i made so i don't have to always prep my wigs and do all the things once i prep them i put them on the shelf and yeah so i never showed y'all this but 
I made a little wig stand. Then on this rack, I have a lot going on. So right here, I have coats that I need to put in storage. I have these clothes. All of these are new in items that I actually want to do a video with. And I have some pieces that need to go to the cleaners. So we're making progress, girl. Hey, girlfriends. Y'all, it's almost a week later. <laughs> I literally had to sit with this thing because I was so overwhelmed with clothes and things everywhere. So now that I've been sitting with it, I wake up, I look at it, see what I like, see what I don't like, I think I'm feeling it. So let me just give you guys a little update on what's going on here. So this little area here, I have a few pieces that I need to, hold on, put back up, but this area here, I wanted it to be light and airy, but still have the pieces that I want to focus on because you guys know right now I'm loving pink. Like, especially like these soft baby pinks, I'm enjoying those. So I wanted those to be here. And for some reason, this area is usually always like very soft and girly because it is like the focal point. I, I'm enjoying this. So I have a lot of my AJ pieces. I have a few tips that I also wanted to show with you guys. Hold on, share with you guys, hold on. Okay, so for the first tip, you guys, anytime I do this uh, wall switch over, you guys usually see me put like darker colors over here or I'll put brighter, richer colors over here because I do have a window here and you usually see these colors are usually light. Anytime I'm doing like a color coordination thing, I never try to put like whites and stuff this way because for those of you who don't know, whites should never be stored close to a window. It can get um, sun damage and it turns yellow. So that's why usually my whites and lighter colors are here because I don't want them to be close to the window. Now, when I was uh, doing this room, and I saw this really huge window. I knew I wanted to do this wall. So what I did was look girl, high and low for curtains that had UV protection. When I worked in luxury retail, I learned a lot of your things like shoes, accessories, bags, white clothes, clothes that have like a lot of detailing should never be placed or stored close to a window. And if you look at certain um, items, like when I got this IJ top here, it came with a tag that literally said this item should not be stored near uh, direct sunlight. So even if I have curtains, I do open my window every single day. That's why these items will never be stored to the wall. So if you have like a closet, just be very mindful of the way you set your closet up, especially if the closet has a window or direct sunlight. You guys also know all of my bags and shoes are all the way on this side of the wall, far enough to where the shoes and bags will not get direct sunlight. So I don't have to worry about them getting damaged. And I learned this from a Chanel training we had to do like a training and the Chanel people came in and told us all of these great details and I still use those things today so that's tip number one tip number two tip number two um, you guys saw me earlier in this video, I separate my clothes. Now, I separate my clothes by season. So I do fall, winter, they usually store together. And this time around when I was unpacking spring and summer, I wanted to separate those two because in the spring, I still can wear sweaters and cardigans. So I want my closet to be like one side spring and one side um like all summer things so i do separate my clothes by seasons i do feel like it helps me stay on track of what i have and all of the things so separate your clothes by seasons to purge as you go you guys know i have been purging monthly for the past year i did that because i was i kind of like saw my style evolving and changing and i just wanted to be mindful of the things that i was holding on to so i have a wardrobe rack you guys also saw it in this video i have that wardrobe rack and on that wardrobe rack every month like the last day of the month or the last week of the month i just go through all of my things and when i tell you all of my things everything out here i go through shoes bags accessories my main closet i go through everything and just see you know what why am i not wearing this uh it, will i wear this and anything that kind of like catch my mind and i have a question mark about it i put it on the wardrobe rack and i'll just keep it there maybe until the next month when i do the purge if i didn't pull from that for that item off that rack I let it go so I purge as I go every month I was purging I, I 
I did that all 2023. Now, when I did this purge, y'all, I literally had three bags. That was good, okay? Three bags of things was good because last year when I was purging, it was bags on bags on bags. Also, another tip, as you purge, look at the things that you're purging so you don't constantly keep on um, buying those things. The one thing that I realized I was purging was a lot of fast fashion. So, a lot of the brands like Pretty Little Thing and things like that, I stopped buying them because I kept purging them. And when I was purging, I definitely saw I had a lot of ruffles and little baby doll dresses I don't need to buy them anymore because I'm not wearing them and I'm constantly getting rid of them so that's another tip purge as you go next tip do not over purge okay sometimes we can get purge happy and we're letting go of things that we do not need to let go of last year I um, when I was packing up all of these items I put a little you know section to the side of things that I couldn't fit at the time things that I had a big question mark about I'm like I don't know if I'm ready to let go of them and can y'all believe this year when I took that pile out I started trying those things on and I can fit them and I'm so so happy I did not let them go so don't over purge because you know? what you don't want to do is purge and purge and purge and you look up and you have to rebuy all of the things that you just purge now if you're purging things that they're not of good quality and you want to get new pieces okay that's different but don't just just purge just to say I hate my wardrobe and you get rid of everything maybe you just can't fit it or you're not feeling it at the moment just sit with it for a little while right, so back to the wall y'all I cannot wait to wear this this is a IJ top she is sick okay it's like this you are you getting into it yeah I can't wait to wear this okay so let's move to this side now on this side i really wanted this side to be very vibrant and bright since this side is very like soft and girly i love how it flows into like this really 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 deep hot pink and it goes into like the oranges we have some reds some greens do, do y'all remember this from last year <gasps> y'all i tried this on last year i was a little heavier i tried this on with my weight loss the back is out <gasps> this is so sickening so i can't wait to wear her but i love the way this flows i need to change these hangers and another tip is try to keep all of your hangers the same like i need to change these two hangers these are like closet hangers like velvet hangers out here i like to have wooden hangers i feel like it just looks more aesthetically pleasing it looks very cohesive and very clean so i need to change these hangers but so yeah that's all that i have for this side now we need to move to the accessories this little wall here y'all know this wall always defeats me so let's see
so it is a few hours later and i'm not mad at what i came up with i'm not a refresh it is and let me just show you what i got because this little wall system right here like the shoes and stuff always take me out so let me go ahead and show y'all what i got so in this area i kept pretty much kept everything the same over here i just changed out this little area right here i added the aj um top because i like the way it looks now look standing here i don't like the way this is kind of like sticking out so i want this to stay here because i need to wear this a little more also we could tuck that in but i'll just sleep with it um down here i have like this peekaboo blue I like the way that blue is like peeking out with the white it's it's very vibrant okay so i left this bag up here because i honestly don't have any place for it to go when it comes to the wall i am girl growing out of the wall by the second so i just left that there i honestly don't love the way it looks with the pink but whatever let's move over here now this girl y'all know i always <laughs> baby she always try to take me out like it's getting to the point with like how many different ways can i switch this up so some things i always just leave the same like let's start here anytime i'm doing the wall i make sure i take everything off i wipe it down and when i'm um putting things back on a wall i either start this um shelf here or this one i know anytime i'm doing the wall all of the black is always going to stay together instead of having the fendi at the top this time i put all of the fendi at the bottom and i'm not mad at this it's, it usually flows pretty seamlessly so all of the black will always be together because i feel like i don't want it mixed in with other things and i just have like a few hints of white and silvers gun metals and all of the things peeking out um this bag i wanted it to go down here but it's up here whatever the blue will always be the same because baby when it comes to the dior vintage excuse me vintage dior saddle she has to be on the stand so the blue will always usually be there i don't love it but what could i do about it down here this is my least favorite shelf i was fighting with her and i said you know what i don't have time to fight no more i'm leaving you guys here i don't like when everything looks flat you see i don't how here we have like a bag here bag here this bag right here is on like a little stand i need to order more stands because see how everything here is just flat the only bag that is was well, not on the stand it's on some sun a sunglass case i need more stands i don't like when it's just flat i would prefer these to be like up higher so you don't see as much wall kind of like here you see different sizes and it just flows very seamlessly so down here i just kept the red i put the yellow because i don't have anywhere else for it to go not mad at it whatever moving here i wanted this roll right here to be very airy very light because these colors are very very light and when i had all of the black here i felt like it was just too harsh so i'm not mad at this okay i feel like with this wall well especially this side i always have to like live with it for a, a while maybe like a week and i'll just keep changing things but right now this is what i have so up here i have some nudes and monograms that flow into a little monogram in the back but i like how the mauvey pink stands out with the shoes and i put a little bag back there that it just flows you get the vibe and it flows into like these mint greens and golds with a little silver because i'm not mad at mixed metals and i thought that silver in the back peeking out was like perfect and here i just have some pink shoes i did not have anywhere for this purple bag to go so i just set it there and i don't want to put it in my main closet because i need to keep these bags on display so i could actually reach for them and here at the bottom i just have some neutral shoes that i know i'm going to be pulling for and i did also didn't want those in my main closet because i want to wear these so this is what i have y'all oh and our hermes around sandals will never move because it's like the perfect little hole for those so this is what i got i did not allow it to stress me out i took a popcorn break and yeah that's all i got hopefully this video is inspiring let's ignore those because i'm ready for those to go and yeah if you have a small space 
you can definitely make it work okay so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe all of the pieces that i have here this system is from amazon i'm going to link these pieces down below i'm also going to link um the video that's going into detail about this whole system from amazon i'm going to link it down below because i want all of the girls to be able to display their things it doesn't matter if you have a small apartment you're living in a small space this is the perfect representation of you can make it work okay okay so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like share comment subscribe and i will see you girls in the next one